Let's make an amplifier circuit in LT Spice. Go to File, New Schematic. Let's add some components. Zoom out with the middle mouse keypad or the middle mouse scroll wheel. I'm going to add some voltages. And I'll have a sinusoidal voltage source here. I'll end that with the right, the right mouse button. And let's place a couple of resistors. So I'll be my first resistor, second and third for my feedback loop. Let me get a capacitor here. I could also hit C on the keyboard, control R to rotate. I want to hit S to slide my component and pick it up. S control R to rotate. An op amp. So let's place a component. I want my LTC 6090-5. Let's place some ground symbols for a reference voltage, zero reference. This voltage source here needs to be sinusoidal, so I'll click on Advance Sign. Set this to 1.25 for DC offset, 1.35 amplitude, and a 10 kilohertz frequency. Let's wire these. I want to move this down, so hit S on the keyboard. Okay, that's good. W on the keyboard. Okay. This capacitor is 10 picofarad. Resistor, right click on the resistor itself for the value 432 kilo ohm resistor. Right click, this will be 16.9k. 16.2k. This voltage DC value 2.5 volts. V2 will be negative 70 volts because I'll use this for the power rail. Okay, positive DC 70 volts. Let's wire these. Okay, that was a mistake. Control Z that. Okay. I need a net alias, so positive V. I will put it on here probably. And then put another positive V there in that mode. wire these my positive power supply and then for another net alias it would be minus v okay place it there place one there now the negative 70 volts is connected to my negative terminal of my power supply oh of my op amp i need output net and this will be input let's just call that in now let's run the simulation 
I need a spice directive for dot T. We'll do a transient simulation. So tran for 250 microseconds. Place that. Now let's run to simulate this. And I put a probe on my input and then a probe on my output. That looks good. All right, so that's how you simulate an LT Spice.